Hi readers, today we're going to learn about following steps in a procedure. What's a procedure? A procedure is a set of steps you follow to do something. A recipe is an example of a procedure. Cool! So if I want to bake a chocolate cake, that's following a procedure? Yeah! Let's look at why it's so important to follow the steps in a procedure. Here's what I need for my cake. Sugar, flour, cocoa powder, eggs, milk, butter, salt, and baking powder. I'm going to make sure I have everything I need before I follow the directions. Let's look at the directions. I see that they're numbered in order. Let's start with what it says first. Number one, preheat the oven to 350 degrees and grease and flour two nine inch round pans. Then in a large bowl, it looks like I'm stirring together a lot of the ingredients. Third, I'm gonna mix the ingredients for two minutes and pour everything into the pans. Next, I'm gonna bake my cake for 30 to 35 minutes in my preheated oven that I already turned on in step one. And last, I'm gonna cool the cake in the pans for 10 minutes, then remove them to a wire rack to keep cooling. It looks like if I follow all these directions in the right order, I'll end up with a delicious chocolate cake. What would happen if I didn't follow the steps in order? If I tried to bake the cake before I heated the oven, my cake won't cook. And if I forget one of the steps, I might miss the ingredients and then I won't have a complete cake. And if I tried to mix the cake after I baked it, I would just have a big mess. I can see why it's so important to follow the steps in order so I get the right cake. Oh, I see. It's really important to follow the steps in order. Yes. When we read a text with directions or steps, it's really important to follow what comes first, next, and last. I bet paying attention to the steps in order helps us answer questions about our reading, too. Yes. For example, when should you add the eggs to make your chocolate cake? If I look back at step two, I see where it tells me to add the eggs. I should add them after I stir together the sugar and the flour. And how about this question? Can you use a small bowl to make the cake? Hmm. I remember when I was reading through the directions, step number two told me that I needed a large bowl. And that's because I have to stir together so many ingredients. They wouldn't fit in a small bowl. It's a good thing I read through all these directions before I got started, so I knew what materials I would need. Cool, what about this question? Why do you need to preheat the oven first? Wow, that's a tough question. Let me look back at step one, where it told me about preheating the oven. I also remember in step four, that's when I needed to put the cake into the oven. So if I didn't preheat the oven first, it wouldn't be hot enough by the time I needed to put the cakes in. Knowing, Knowing how, how to follow, follow steps, steps in a procedure definitely helps us to be better readers and cooks. <laughs>